This tutorial will go over the steps required to change your default Python interpreter in Visual Studio Code, commonly known as VS Code. You're watching this tutorial because you're trying to install some kind of a program that requires a specific version of Python. Writing it in a different or wrong Python environment is going to produce errors and your program will not compile. But before I show you how to change Python interpreter in VS Code, I want to invite you guys to our Python community where you can ask Python questions and meet other Python developers. Just use the link in the description of this video. It's going to drop you directly into our Python community. But first, a few words about Python interpreters. And just in a moment after that, I'll show you the exact step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Python extension in VS Code and start changing your Python interpreter, also known as Python environment. We'll also take a look at how to set the default Python interpreter for your project, regardless of whether you close it or open it again. A Python code interpreter is simply the Python program. There are as many Python interpreters as there are Python versions. So to change Python interpreter means to run your Python project using a specific version of Python installed on your system. In VS Code, the ability to change Python environment comes from Python extension. So let's go ahead and install that. Go to extensions, type Python, now you will see this first search result. So go ahead and click on that. This is Python with 91 million downloads. Click on the install button. Once installed, close the tab. Now, if you're still someone who's watching, I invite you personally to our Python community where you can meet other Python developers, ask questions or help others. Just go to the first link in the description of this video. Okay. Now to open your Python project, go into upper left corner, file, open folder, navigate to your Python project. Here is my projects folder where I have my JavaScript projects, Python, TypeScript, React, and all those things that I created for my tutorials. Go ahead and click on the Python project folder and click select folder. Or if you don't have one, just create a new project by creating a folder and opening it in Visual Studio Code. Now, if the project source code files are not showing up, you need to go to the Explorer button on the navigation bar. And here we have our python.py file. Now, only because we installed Python extension, doing that adds two more buttons to the status bar, which is the language in the version. Here we have Python button and right next to the right of Python, we have the version button. This is the button you click to access currently installed Python environments. Here I only have Python 3.11, 64-bit installed on my system. If you have multiple Python versions, VS Code will automatically identify and show them on this list. By clicking on one of those Python versions, you will change Python interpreter for currently open VS Code project. If you don't see your interpreter, you can click on enter interpreter path and browse your file system to the folder where you have your Python program installed. But usually this is not something you will ever have to do because VS Code automatically identifies all currently installed Python versions on your computer. But here I actually browsed to another version of Python and now it's showing up on the list because I added it myself by navigating to that folder. Now, from this point on, to select your default Python interpreter, click on the version button and you can switch your interpreter by clicking on one of the Pythons on the list. VS Code will always memorize and save the last selected Python interpreter as your default. So I'm going to close VS Code program completely, then open it again from scratch, go to file, open folder to open that project that I was just editing. And you will see here in the lower right corner that my Python interpreter defaulted to 2.7, which is what I saved it as before I closed VS Code. If you're someone who's still watching this tutorial, I'd like to invite you to our Python community. 
just go to the link in the description of this video. This is where you can meet other Python developers, ask or answer questions, or just engage in the community.